Women often pay more than men for products. It's known as the pink tax. New tonight, Ken's 5 consumer reporter Nicole Kahn explains how women can get around higher prices. Women might find their wallets a little lighter because of the products they buy. You might not really notice that you're paying more for women's products because women's products are separated from men's products and we're not usually comparing those prices. But generally, women's products cost more than men's products. Dealnews.com found women's products cost 7% more on average. It adds up. It's not just that women are paying more for their products over the course of a year. We're also having to deal with other issues like pay disparity and financial discrimination. And it all compounds to kind of give us less buying power than men have. But there are ways for women to save. There's nothing wrong with buying the men's version of a certain product if it's cheaper. So go to the men's aisle and compare those. Look for gender neutral products. They're usually things that are kind of placing a heavy focus on one element. So maybe it's just body wash with a heavy focus on like moisturizing. Stick to store brands. CVS, Target, Walmart, all these stores have their own version, which are similar and compared to the brand name version for a huge savings. I mean, you're looking at about 30% savings and you're gonna get the same ingredients. Or if you love a certain product targeted to women, wait for a sale, then stock up so you get some price savings. Nicole Kahn, Ken Spock.